let's solve this problem 317 in this problem it is said that the uniform beam has a mass of 50 kg per meter right so this is the mass per unit length right so 50 kg per meter of mass of length and it is said that compute the reactions at the support O. So we are asked to compute the reaction at this support at this point O. And it is said that the force loads shown lie in a vertical plane. Right. So these forces are in, in the vertical plane, let's say is in the screen, right? So they are coplanar forces, right? So if we draw the reaction forces, so one reaction will be in this direction one reaction will be and the positive y direction right since it's a beam and it can support the moment right so these forces are trying to bend this beam in this clockwise direction right so as a reaction we will have a moment we will have moment in this direction like this uh, sorry in the opposite direction that is the counterclockwise Right, so we will have moment like this. Let's say that this is the moment at O. This will be O Y reaction, and this one will be O X reaction. So we are asked to find this O X, O Y, and M O. Right, and since this uniform beam has a mass of 50 kg per meter, so if if we consider beam until this point right so until this point uh, with the length of this 1.8 plus 0.6 right so this total length is how much so this total length is 2.4 meters so for this part of the beam it will have a mass uh, it will have a weight of let's say that if you want to find that weight and let's say that this point is let's say x point right so if you want to find the length of o x part of the beam so this will be 50 kg per meter and it will be multiplied with 9.81 uh, 9 and it will be multiplied with the total length of this o x and the total length is 1.8 plus 0.6 so it is how much so it is 2.4 meters so this will be the weight of the o x part of this beam right and this weight will act vertically downward at the midpoint of this o x length right so what is the midpoint of this o x so 2.4 divided by 2 so that is 1.2 so that weight will act at a distance of 1.2 from this point right so let's say that this is the point and this distance is 1.2 if i mention it if this distance is this distance is 1.2 right so if i write this is 1.2 meters and this is that weight o x right and similarly this part of the beam this x c part of the beam will have its own weight so let's calculate that weight as well so we will write the weight of x c and it will be again 50 kg per meter and it will be multiplied with 9.81 and the length of this part of the beam is 0.6 plus 0.6 so it is 1.2 so this is the weight of this part of the beam and again it will act vertically downward so if i draw that weight so it will be acting vertically downward at this point B this is the midpoint of this part of the beam right so this is the and if I if we write so then this will be W X C so first let me calculate these so now this W O X is uh, 1177.2 Newton and this is 588.6 Newton right so now if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0 and let's say that this is the positive direction so as we can see that here is a 1.4 kilonewton force right so only the component of this force is along x right so let's resolve this 1.4 kilonewton force 
but as we can see that here is this 30 degree angle right so first we need to find the angle of this 1.4 kilonewton right so if i draw a vertical line here let me draw a vertical line let's say that this is a vertical line at this at this point c this is that vertical line right so as we can see that this angle is given this angle is 30 degrees right and this angle is between this line this line is perpendicular to this part of the beam and this line is perpendicular to this part of the beam right so now if we draw this same vertical line so this vertical line and this line are parallel to each other right and this force and this line they are parallel to each other right so this means that if this is 30 degrees so then this is 30 degrees right so both of the angles are same so now if we resolve this force into its components so then, then one component will be in this direction and one component will be in this direction right and this angle is 30 degrees right so this is 30 so this is the cos component right so it is 1.4 cos of 30 degrees and this is sine component so it is 1.4 sine of 30 degrees right so so if we apply the summation of forces along x and if this is our positive direction right so this is if this is the direction of ox so uh, ox is toward positive so ox and this is again in the positive direction so we will write plus 1.4 sine of 30 degrees equals to 0 so ox will be equal to 1 minus 1.4 sine of 30 degrees so 1.4 sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.7 so ox is minus 0 0.7 kilo newton right so this is kilo newton so the minus sign indicates that the initial assumed direction is inaccurate so we have to reverse this direction right so ox is actually in the negative x direction right now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and and if this is our positive direction right so this oy is in the positive direction so we will write oy and this wox is in the negative direction so we will write minus and wox magnitude is 1177.2 similarly this 3 kilonewton this is in the negative direction so we will write and since this is in newton remember right and all the remaining forces are given in kilonewton right so if we convert this into kilonewton so then it will be 1.1772 kilonewton right so we have to write it in that way right so it will be 1.1772 kilonewton right and similarly this will be minus 3 kilonewton so minus 3 similarly this wxc so if we divide this by 1000 so 588.6 divided by 1000 so this is 0 0.5886 kilonewton right so i will write minus this is in the negative y direction so we will write minus 0 0.5886 and similarly this component this cos component is in the negative direction so this is minus 1.4 cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0 right so if we take uh, all these terms to the other side of the equation so they all will become positive right so we can write that oi will be equal to this plus this plus this so let me solve this so oi comes out to be 5.98 kilonewton right so this is the reaction at point O in the y direction and this is the reaction at point O in the x direction and now we have to find this MO reaction so for that we will apply the third condition of equilibrium that is the summation of moment at point O equal to 0 
right. So, as we can see that this O x and this O y are passing through this point O. So, they will never produce the moment at this point O, right. So, we will not consider this. So, we will consider all the remaining forces. So, this W O x is producing the moment in the clockwise direction. So, let us say that this contour clockwise direction is positive. So, W O x is producing moment in the clockwise direction. So, we will write minus the magnitude of W O x in kilo Newton is 1.1772 and the perpendicular distance of this W O x from this point to is this 1.2 meters. So, I will write 1.2. Similarly, this 3 kilo Newton force is producing clockwise moment. So, we will write minus 3 into the perpendicular distance. So, this is the perpendicular distance from point O. So, we will multiply it by 1.8. Similarly, this W x c. So, again it is producing clockwise moment. So, we will write minus W x c magnitude is 0 0.5886 and the perpendicular distance of this W x c is this. 1.8 plus 0.6 plus this distance is 5. If we draw a triangle here, so this distance, let us say that this is T point, right. So, this OA plus AX plus XT. So, this is the whole uh, perpendicular distance, right. And this angle is how much? So, this angle if I draw a line here. So, this angle is 30 degrees. How it is 30 degrees? So, this line, this line is perpendicular to this line, right. And this line is perpendicular to this line. So, the angle between these two line is 30. So, then this line, this angle is also 30 degrees, right. So, we can write that the perpendicular distance of this is 1.8 plus 0.6 plus this this x v length is 0 0.6 right. So, 0 0.6 cos of 30 degrees. So, this is the total perpendicular distance of this w x c. Similarly, we will write the moment produced by this component right. So, this sine component. So, this sine component is producing clockwise moment again right. So, we will write minus and we will write 1.4 sine of 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this component from this point O is this distance if I write this distance right and this distance is the sine component of this length right. So, this total length is 1.2. So, this component this is the 1.2 sine of 30 right. So, we will write 1.2 sine of 30 degrees right. So, this is the perpendicular distance and similarly this component this 1.4 cos of 30 right. So, we will write and again this 1.4 cos of 30 component is producing clockwise moment. So, we will write minus. So, this will be 1.4 cos of 30 degrees and its perpendicular distance is, is this O A plus A x plus x t and this distance let us say that this is S. So, O A plus A X plus X T plus T S right. So, we will write let me write. So, it will be 1.8 plus 0.6 and this this X S distance is 1.2 cos of 30 degrees right. So, we will get this. So, we have this triangle right. So, this triangle. So, this total length the hypotenuse of this triangle is 1.2. So, this is the cos component right. So, we will write here 1.2 cos of 30 degrees right. So, this is the perpendicular distance of this component right. And similarly, as we can see that this reaction is a couple right and it is in the counterclockwise direction. So, we will aid it right. So, we will add this. So, let me add it here right. So, we will write m o right and this direction is positive right. So, this is this whole equation is equal to 0 right. So, if we add all these and take it to the other side. So, we will get the moment at point o. So, let me solve it. So, when we solve this so moment at point o comes out to be 
9.12 kilonewton and all these becomes positive right so this is plus plus and plus and plus and there is one uh, couple as well right so we haven't included this so we need to add this couple as well so this couple is acting in the counterclockwise direction so we will have to add it to this equation so let me write it here so it will be or uh, let me this is equal to zero so i will add it here somewhere right so this will be plus or minus right so this plus will become negative on the other side so this will become negative right so when we solve this so we get this reaction at that point o so 9.18 kilonewton so this is the solution of this problem